gosh, oh my gosh. This is a huge large one. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. <laughs> yeah, we, got, we gotta eat this thing. You gotta eat this thing? Uh, we sure. can do that. I'll tell you what, you guys will be pleasantly surprised at the taste of the snake. Even though oh, I got it, I got it. Oh my God, I figure eight it. Welcome back yeah, baby. to the Guggen Squad channel. Today, mosquito. thank you, sir. We're in the swamps, so there's gonna be some mosquitoes. All right. like Fair enough. Stuff. Fair enough. Going for a state record snakehead, Dorchester County. This is where the state record is literally caught last week in this county. I don't know the exact spot. Last week. Last week, literally. Oh gosh. 21 so pounds oh each. Oh, oh yeah, they're right. There's one right there. There's probably a thousand snakeheads in this little area right here. That even if we didn't break the state record, me and you have never caught these fish, so we're gonna break our own personal records no matter what. Matching. Oh matching, my gosh, matching tech pumps right now. Dude, come on. Dude, that's impressive. Snakehead pump. That's impressive tech control. That's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna need Boom. tech control. Yeah, we've never caught one of these. Never. So we're so pumped. I know Mike's really pumped. Energy is. Energy's high. high. We it's have the bat. We have bananas so we, for some reason. We have a lot tradition. of things. We gotta get ready. We gotta get rigged up. 20 <laughs> pound line fluorocarbon leader. We don't go with less than 20 pound leader. These things are absolutely vicious. They're savages, right? Yeah. Just a mouth full of sharp teeth. They're yeah. armor plated basically, yes. right? Yes. And they have hard heads. We know that because of mm -hmm. the necessity yeah, the, of the, that. They actually live a long time out of the water as well. So that's I right, they can breathe air, right? Yes. I've seen them live for over eight hours out of the water. Not even a single what? drop of water around them. And they're still alive after those eight hours. It's crazy. That's a weird fish. It's a freak. Can't wait to see one. They are very vicious. <laughs> I, can't wait I cannot explain to you enough what they're like. You have to catch one to see and feel and experience the northern snakehead. Oh, okay. Are you boys ready? I'm ready, Never dude. Smell snake. This is a thick wire bait hook. None of that thin wire shit. A snakehead would bend that in half like a freaking twig. I go heavy and thick, and we've got 20 pound fluorocarbon leader to protect against their teeth. You can't skimp when you're going for the 10 to 20 pound northern snakehead. Honestly, it would be tough to catch a 20 pounder today, but it is possible, but catching a 10 pounder, well within possibilities for today. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Drive this hook right through the top lip. You don't want to go through both lips. You want that water to go through their mouth so they can still breathe. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, we gotta get in the water. Guys, water's free stained. It's about, man, that's about six inches of visibility. Straight out with this bait. Out you. Nice gentle lob. Perfect. And now we're gonna put on my absolute favorite bait to fish for these beasts. I'll go show you. Right here, guys. My personal favorite bumper. I've got a lot of fish on her. Got some wear. 30 inch striper. Caught a snakehead on her. I think I've lost a muskie. Caught a pike on her. Big bass, smallmouth and large. This guy has uh, been through the ringer. She might not make it through today, I'm not gonna lie, but she's definitely giving her a good run. I'm on. I'm on. I got one. I'm on. I'm on. Ooh, it's a big, it's a big, huge largemouth. It's a huge largemouth. God, oh my gosh, this is a huge largemouth. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Dude, it's a big largemouth. Okay, let me get Oh my god, it's a huge largemouth. Oh, the largemouth. Dude, this is a big a Texas size largemouth. Holy shoot. Look at that monster! <laughs> Look at that! Let's, Let's go. go! Four pounder, man! Dude, my first largemouth. I am in shock. Dude. I Look cannot that. believe that's huge marrow and largemouth. First of all, but yeah, I cannot I believe you got a largemouth, <laughs> not a snakehead. Good job, dude. Good job, I, I buddy. I felt the thump, but I, it wasn't running very hard. And I was like, that kind of feels like a, a green fish. <laughs> oh, came up and jumped and sure yes, enough. sir. That Dude, is, that is my first bass in Maryland. Yeah. It's a giant. That's a heck of a way to Dude, start the day, man. You're gonna make half of Marylanders jealous right now. That's crazy. Let me get the scale for you on that one, buddy. Wow. Was that okay. on a spinnerbait bumper? Yeah, yeah, that was on the bumper, oh, man. My I was just gosh. slow working it. You know, it just kind of got like that slow, slow heaviness to it. I was like, yeah. I think I got something. And then I pulled into it and it started coming up. It was just lazy largemouth bite. That's unbelievable, guys. That's Mike crazy, was saying that. Man. that the snakehead are 10 to 1, and I catch a huge largemouth. What's your PV Maryland largemouth? It is actually six, a little over six pounds. Okay. 
Yeah, that's, I don't know if you've beaten that no, quite this yet. One's, this one's probably four pounds. That was nice. That's a nice that's fish, a nice fish man. Nice fish. So I don't want to get your finger there. Clear? Yep, you're good. Okay. Pop it in. Official weight. Yep, you said four, right? Yeah, yep. Four and a quarter. Four right and a quarter. There. Nice. Hey, I'll take it. Nice. Good job, I'll take man. It for my first one. Bro, so sick, that man. is impressive, dude. You cannot awesome. get away from the green fish, my friend. <laughs> I am in shock. I'll take I am shocked right now. <sighs> There's no way that smells good out of the swamp, by the way. I know you, I, I there's no it. way. It smells like honeydew. <laughs> Beautiful Maryland swamp fish. So should I go back over there, Mike? Or should Warm I... water. Since he's here, yeah. camera in See there. ya. Right, go, actually, go wherever you want. I mean, he just kind of, whatever you're feeling, just move around. Wherever you almost think like without, the largemouth kind of have to be big up here to compete with the snakeheads. That's actually right. So, practice. Yeah. I've only seen literally at this spot two largemouth ever caught, and they were both over four pounds, just okay. like yours. There we so, go. Yeah. That one was uh, right, I'm gonna say, on the edge of this uh -huh. current flow. See, you see the bait fish, they're pumping right now. This is actually peak flow. We have a lot of, this spot usually has very little current. The current's peak right now. So, I mean, that's probably why you see gar, there's a gar right there. The I gar. Mean, everything's gotta be out there. Everything's, feeding, right? Now, but usually the thing is, the snakehead's usually like the, the perimeter, that's the, where the okay. less current. You, that's what I've personally like seen. Slack. But, okay. Yeah, I, I just saw a little a little shad jump right there. A, this place is loaded right now. Crazy <laughs> stuff. This is wild. <laughs> We're gonna make some stuff happen, my friend. Let's keep grinding. We gotta get that snakehead. We gotta give him to the bank. We gotta give him to the bank. Big, big on the bumper, baby. Bumper! Let's go! Big one! Ah! Ah! Let's go! Yes! Good size one. Yes, sir. Holy shit. Now, smokes. this is the average, my friend. Look at that dude, thing. I've been casting this bumper for 15 minutes max. Oh my oh. gosh, dude. That's Look a big at one. It. What? We don't got any pliers on us. Dude, look Ooh. at the tail. I think a snake, another snake in might have taken a little chomp out of this oh, one. Oh, dude, those are gnarly. What? So this one, uh, for some reason, it's not moving a lot. Usually they're way more vicious. I'm going to try to handle oh, he's it. He's probably okay. storing it up from when you grab him. He's all right. He's be oh, oh, okay, careful, 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 careful. Go on. Careful. Gotta, look at his eyes. Uh, he does look like a freaking boa constrictor. I, I got him, bro. I like, got him. Looks like he's looking at me like he wants oh, a Yeah, he, he is looking at he you. He wants a piece. Try to get his mouth open. Show the camera the teeth on these things. Show you oh, those. Gosh, look at his so bite strong. force. The spinnerbait uh, probably just uh, Oh my god. I can't open it. I can't That's open it. Are you incredible. kidding me? Get over anyway. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he's, he's, he's walking. He's walking. He's, walking. he's, he's going to try to go back to water. Hey, he's going to try to go back to water. No, I got him, but watch. He will literally try to walk back to one. There he goes. Look there he goes. Him. There he goes. Oh, they can do it. <laughs> he can do it. So he would 100% make it back to water. Yeah. I'm oh, telling yeah. you guys. He knew right where the yeah, water was. Yeah, he knows where it is. So you see that they call it they call it the Frankenfish, and they also call it a walking fish because they can literally move. I saw that. You they can literally move. Yeah, that's right. And they can literally oh, crawl. On, they've been known to crawl on land, I believe, up to a mile. I mean, maybe, maybe that's an over exaggeration, but at least a quarter mile. That's a good distance. Like you can go from one body of water to another, going a quarter mile, no problem. Wow. It's incredible. incredible. What is 40 yard dash? <laughs> yeah. He's moving that quick. Dude, dude, this one's real beat up. I don't know what. This one has some, some yeah, issues. This one's a little beat up, interestingly. But you can see the python. color pattern this is not the most beautiful one but you have ones that look exactly like a burmese python sometimes wow hey that look, is look, look at the fin look yeah. at how the fin just stretches yeah spans the entire yep. you body can see that that is you nutty it looks like an alien it looks very easy to fillet though it is extremely yeah. easy. you want to cook it up bro yeah no, we, gotta, <laughs> we gotta eat this thing you gotta yeah. eat this thing uh, we sure. can do that i'll tell you what you guys will be pleasantly surprised at the taste of a snake oh, yeah. <laughs> <Carry> <laughs> <a bat laughs> we need the bat so is there a specific area right. to aim for on the head, or yes. are we just going to nog it? Right, right. Dude, that's it. <laughs> Let's get, get the audio. Get, listen to this. Listen to this. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. Yeah. That, look. <laughs> that's yeah, the same frequency. That's a rock. <laughs> what, where does this thing come from? Outer space? China, bro. China. China. Look, it's not like that right there. there. It's kind of soft right here, but. <laughs> that's why people like eating and they think it gives That is longevity. insane. Really? We're going to put this thing out the most humane way we can, which may not seem like it, but with this baseball bat, 
And then it's time for me and you. Yeah, we, we got to, dude. We've got to put our hands on one of these today. So avert your eyes. Oh yeah. All the bubbles? Yep, yep. yep. Never actually, my PB 10 pounder came on a wake banger style base. The man's maybe one minor. Oh, I just have one right here. Dude, just there, go, figure eight. Right in front of me, dude. Figure eight of Rackley. Literally right in front yeah. of me. You saw him? He followed you in. Yeah, he followed me in. He boiled right here. This is a bite window. This is a bite window right here. Oh, I got it. I got him. Oh my God. I figure eight him. I figure eight him. Oh God. Oh God. He's coming right at me. Jack walk to the bank, careful. Oh, walk to the bank. Jack is in the bank. Oh. Where do I go? Go, 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 Figure eight it yeah. up, freaking snake I, I, I did it like a pike or something, oh, like a musky. Look how pretty he is. He's that like was a beautiful. Whoa. This is the one. So this is a small one, but it's absolutely gorgeous, dude. That, look at the pattern, exactly you just like. Figure eight it. Yeah, he the <laughs> crap out of it too. Bro, what? you need to handle. It's your fish. Yeah. I'm gonna give you pliers. You need to do everything. Oh Good luck, my, my friend. God. Look at how pretty that one is. That one actually yeah. looks like a snake. Yeah, that's the one we're looking for right Ooh. here. Ooh, wrap it, Brack. All right. Oh, oh, oh careful, 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 careful. They're so strong. Careful. They're so strong. Oh, man. Oh, now, careful. Watch the hook. Dude, I'm telling you. Dude, careful. He's fighting. They have fight. Now, when I had dealing with triple, that's the good news. Imagine, dude, look. He didn't oh, I got him on the outside. got him on the outside. Did they miss? They miss. Oh, oh careful, man. careful. That thing is Whoa. Unbelievable. <laughs> Look, you died the lure of pink now. Dude, I'm shaking. <laughs> you yes, sir. Good job, one, man. Man. That is holy oh, care. Good Go hold on in the water. Dude, oh watch my your, gosh. Watch your bait. Watch your watch I'm your so, head. I'm so scared. <laughs> There you go, buddy. Oh, Jeez, sir. my God. <laughs> that is crazy. I cannot believe you figure eight of them. I know, that I can't believe it. I, I just saw the boil and I was like, I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to try it. It worked. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Oh, How'd man. that feel, buddy? Dude, it felt amazing. How it many went... strikes have you gotten when you finally got hooked up? Probably, I think it was nine. Yeah, nine strikes. Nine strikes. So that's common. Wow. That's literally par for the course. You wow. usually get 10 strikes or bumps and then you hook into one that fish. Meaty. They're so They're like soft, but their heads are rock. He's gonna fool you up nice. Oh, oh yeah, it is. He's actually that's, got a This good is actually the size that you want for eating. This is the best size right here. It's a, kind of like a little smaller one. Dude, good job, man. Oh, man. I feel good. All right. Let's go. <laughs> let's go ding him. <laughs> let's, go, let's go, baby. Ding him and put him in the Tesla. That's the new tradition. <laughs> Another one for the table. Woo! Man, you really got a hold of that one, man. I did. That Ripped home it run. To straight right field. Woo! <laughs> hey, what is that over there, Mike? Oh, you put oh you put the live bait. Hey, live bait going. Bobber going. Bobber going. Bobber going. I'm gonna get it. Go, 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 go. Which one is it? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that one's going too. There's two. Where are the rods? I don't know which one it is. They're both down. Grab one, bro. Grab the other. Okay. Oh, the drag. Okay. I owe you on. Jesus, I'm in the wood. I don't know what's going on. Where's the line? Go, go, walk out. Walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. I'm on something, bro. I'm on. I think I'm stuck. Bro, grab my. You want to try it, bro? Train, train, Are you train, on? Train. I got this one. Go, 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 go. You're on something, bro. Go. I'm on fish, too. I'm on fish, too. We're doubled up. Go. Oh, the line. Oh, life's stuck. Duh. Oh, stuck. What is this? I don't know, bro. I haven't seen it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dang it! Oh my goodness. Come on, dude. What are you doing? You're not even hooked in your mouth, bro. What are you doing? I haven't ran that hard since the old state championship back in 05. What kind of turtle is that? Dude, I don't know. He's pretty. Oh, it came out. Oh, that's wow. great. Hey, grab, hey, wait grab a second. Him, bro. Wait a second. <laughs> this is my only catch today. Ow, he's got short claws. Hey, don't oh, worry. Shit.
Grab him, bro. <laughs> that's a new species. Oh, wait, this might be a new species. I've never seen a species I know, like right? this before in Maryland. What? Yeah, what is that? Dude, it's like a blue turtle. Let me see the turtle. belly. Oh! Okay, he's got some snaps on him. Oh! Yeah, I, I have no clue, guys. You have to comment below. He's got what? like blue skin. Yeah. Yeah. That's look at look at look at his shell too. That's a really kind of a gorgeous turtle. It really is. What a turtle. <laughs> what, what a turtle it is. <laughs> Thank you for trying to make me feel better. <laughs> nice job, bro. Hey, dude, turtle. I was hustling. Did y'all see that sprint oh, right I there? Did. That's everything I, did. I had you for 20 seconds. Your, your rod. I, I was worried it was gonna get run over, so I, I grabbed it. It's safe. It's secure. But oh, man, there you he goes. Dropped everything. There he goes. He's pretty quick. Oh, he's in there. The crazy, wow. the crazy thing is, like, the bobber went down fast. It wasn't like one of those where it's, like, kind of going down and it's dragging along. It was down and it was gone, so I thought for sure, Snakehead. <sighs> hey, oh, I didn't get skunked today. Nobody can say that I got skunked. Just not quite the right species. We could have ate him, honestly, unless hey, he's, he like, protected or something. Yeah, turtle, I think, is really good, right? A little All mock right. turtle soup. You know, no, my grandma would cook that up for you. Made a little turtle soup for you. Warm water turtles. <laughs> oh, no. dude, my oh, grandma man. used to make that stuff too. It's kind of nasty, but, but well, we're about to go eat some warm yes. water steak. Yeah. Speaking about I, cooking, I'm getting hungry. What are you doing, yeah, boys? I'm hungry too, and I think that turtle signifies a nice clean end to our fishing efforts. But hey, dude, you got you got one. I did. I'm about to eat one yeah. forever, yeah. so I'm kind of mm -hmm. that's kind of like catching it. You know, not quite as good. Now, right. there's one issue though. I don't. I literally don't eat fish. I don't have a fillet knife. I don't have the cooking supplies. So I think we need a quick Walmart round. Okay. That's okay. all good. I got a special recipe in mind. Ooh, oh, you? you're gonna cook? I think I'm gonna cook. Yeah. Right. I got an idea for this. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. Have to take a look to see how see. the Tesla Cooler well. It's been a few hours. Yeah. The sun's come it's out. With we hot. had ice in it. Yeah. So we'll see if it's a live this well or a cooler. This is made for a front trunk, but I don't know if anyone's ever done this before. <laughs> we so got ice, shoes, bro. I, I think. Our shoes are nice and iced down. Yeah, that's good. I like to keep my shoes cold. Oh, yeah. Cold. Fish juice and water Ooh. for the airplane ride home, boys. Let's go. It's going to be nice. <laughs> Let's let those air out a little bit. Let's set these out in the sun yes, real sir. quick. Oh, yeah. my God. Look at all the water oh, yeah. in here. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. We have, oh. a, we have, you guys missed it, we actually had a mystery smell in the car. We were trying to figure out if it was like the wet shoes and clothes or what was going on. And then Mike all of a sudden remembered he left a bluegill inside of a Guggen Bates package oh, in his it. backpack. I got it, bro. That was right actual bluegill. I oh, still he just, have it. Oh, he just pulled it out. I still have it. A and bluegill that's been dead for quite a while. Oh, yeah, yeah a full day. Full day. Oh, God. I'm, I'm scared to touch you. I got juices on my hand. It still smells. <laughs> what about look at this Guggen bait? Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. that was it. That was it. That was the smell. Uh, oh, oh. Our uh, our snakeheads look good actually. They're nice. They're nice and nice down. So went and got a fillet knife. Went and got uh, a couple of spices from Walmart. And um, oh. I've been doing this recipe with catfish lately that has been fire. I think I've got it dialed. I really want to try it with this. So I need to, I need to rinse my hands oh. off of touching that. I thing. cannot Can you lift wait. this whole thing out. No, you can't. Oh, you can. <laughs> you can't. Hey, come on, Elon. Elon. Is there not a plug? <laughs> no plug. Elon. Oh, I mean, you got like a wrench right there. It's gonna get rusty. Oh, I wouldn't worry about this. Just the tires. <laughs> about to fillet my first snakehead ever. Just looking at these, you would think they'd be really easy to fillet. All I know is that typically I've heard it's extremely nice, easy to. Uh, Play. I've never done it myself, but that's what I hear. And here we go, going in there. Oh, yeah. Look how wow. thick that yeah. boy is. All right, let's see, let's see what we got here. Let's, let's flip it on around. How's that Walmart play knife? On it. No, it's good. It's good. I'm just, I'm, kind of, I'm on that back button right now. Yeah, dude, you're, you're doing pretty damn good. Dude, first it's so time long, and you're it's crushed. slippery. Okay. <laughs> How long are we going, dude? It's gotta be one of your longest plays. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, that looks like a nice piece of fish to me. Okay, no. Smells way better than that blue gel, I'll tell you that. All right, guys, we are in the kitchen now. It is time to cook up the snakehead. So this is our fillets that we got off of it. Honestly, it was a little tricky filleting. There were some weird bones that I wasn't expecting. Weird shape. 
whole different anatomy. So but different the meat anatomy looks okay. than a North American fish that you're used to flaying, huh? Yes. You got a little spider on you there, bud. There yes. You go. And speaking of bugs, we also found some worms inside <laughs> of the meat. And I'm gonna guess the water is probably at least 85. Oh at yeah. Least. Oh yeah. When we stepped in the mm -hmm. water, it was so hot. Yep. So that's these make it live right on the bottom. They like to hang in the mud, and that's where the yeah. worms live. Shallow, grassy. Yeah. Uh, warm conditions, mm -hmm. never good um, for fish tasting. So if, if one of these tastes good, then if it was out of cold water, it'd probably be amazing. Uh, yeah, but yeah. That's uh, we'll just ignore those worms that we saw <laughs> yeah. for a second. Yeah. The meat itself cleaned up nice. I feel like like yeah. it looks okay, but just the fact that we picked out multiple worms mm -hmm. is still living rent free in my head right I'll now. I'll be honest. I've cleaned a couple fish in my life, but I've never seen worms like that pulled out of any fish fillet really? I've cleaned ever. But I've only cleaned out a few, though. I've only done a few. I just thought they'd be smaller. <laughs> yeah, like, me and too. they weren't. Me they too. They weren't small. Yeah, so those, I don't know which uh, species that was, but they were long red worms. Like mm -hmm. this, sometimes you have like the grubs. Yeah, like a bass. small, or like yeah. you know, small grubs. white Stop. thing. Yeah, like yeah. A, yeah but this These was not long. that. No, yeah. they, no. Had, they had personalities. Yes, they, they were, did. They were big enough to have names. So we're going to try uh, Yeah, so here we go. We're going to try to cook the worms out and make sure we don't get any, bring anything back from, from Maryland that we don't want in, living mm. in our bellies. So got a stainless steel pan here. We're going to put some butter in it. Do you need um, me to preheat the oven for you, bud? Go, 375. Okay, 375. Yeah. And um, I yep. can work on seasoning. Season, the seasoning part. This is, so we're going to do a Cajun style. Um, so we got um, some of the stale cracker. Cajun two step. I've never tried them before. Just Dude, wanna, I haven't either. You know, yeah. I see them on TikTok and want to give it a try. Yeah, I've heard so, him say that a million times. And paprika, you really can't go wrong yeah, with that. With I, I don't have that. Piece of meat. Blackened, well, basically blackened Cajun style paprika. Yeah. So just put a little blend in there and put enough in there where we can coat huh. these, get them coated, and then we'll do probably, you know, six to eight at a time and uh, throw them in there. I think we got more fish than we need, but. Um, let's yeah. get to cooking. Excellent. So, yeah, Found a good piece to start yeah, with. Red, uh, oh, that's a lovely piece right usually there. Usually it's like dripping. I'll just get the drops off, but these are kind of perfect, the ones on top. Oh, oh yeah. That's a little crust on there, huh? Yeah, oh, that's, that's going to be just fine right there. It's going to be good. Let's see what Stealth Cracker's all about. Here we go. Coming in hot. That smells pretty good, actually. Doesn't smell bad. Yeah. 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 It's interesting because I've only had steak and fried ever. Now I get to try this. Is this blackened? Or what do we call them? Yeah, yeah. Blackened. Black yeah, it's blackened. And roll that butter around in there a little bit. Get those mm. edges brown. Mm -hmm. You got to. Got a timer on two minutes, and then we'll, we'll flip. And then probably go about two minutes on the other side, and then boom, we're at 335. Yep, I'm saying. We'll get to 375 in the next two minutes, we'll be golden. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll still got a little bit. Ooh, oh, okay. well, actually, our seasoning is not do the best on our sticks oh. there. I think I find them out of the more helpful. You know what I'm telling you? I'm more supposed to on the sticking. I don't know, man. It's just something, something like a kitchen. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, gonna, just gonna play the blame game. <laughs> All the seasoning came off of the fish and went into the pan. It's like it's mixing in there with the butter, though, right? So maybe it is, in fact, getting back on there. Oh, Alright, we're going in the oven. Here we go. Going in the oven. Going straight pan everything. Oh yeah, definitely a There Ooh. we go. All right. Okay. All right. All right. We'll set another timer. Ten minutes. We'll give it a look. We're gonna get Mike on some buttered rice. There you go. Get out of there. There we go. Oh, here we go. Plate him up a piece here. Okay. Did someone order? Cajun Asian fusion. That was me, <laughs> kind sir. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, you even put the fork on the right. Excellent. So we got a little bed of rice prepared by one rod. We've got a, a blackened, that's mm. a tailpiece. That one oh. came out early. It was done first. 
So I, the fish was flaking apart. I have a good feeling about that piece. Ooh, this okay. might be really good. All right, let's take a look at this fish. Well, let's see what the inside yeah, is. Yeah, cut, cut that open like. a little bit. Just look at the Ooh, piece. That's yeah, some flaky, flaky, flaky meat right there. Which you like, you like to see oh, that. Yeah, oh yeah, that's kinda, flaking. Kinda, that's kinda flaking. Crumbling, flaking. It feels like it's a good temperature. <laughs> that is very important to load you yeah, up. All right. A, I need it to be a certain temperature. Let's just get a little rice on the old fork. We can use you. Kinda, you're gonna be a test animal for us. See how, how it is. I'm going for it. Okay, the butter is hitting me right away. That's good. Good. Ease me into it. <laughs> Texture's great. Okay. Now we're getting to the flavor. I haven't heard anything yet. Now I'm a little nervous for this. It's a warm water fish. It's I've never had a fish out of this warm water before. This is dude just fish. Mm. The needles in I can taste the fish. It's not bad. Okay. It's not bad. All right. It's not bad. The rice and the butter help. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now. What would you compare it to, fish-wise? Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, really? Okay. That's why I'm eating multiple pieces because I didn't know I didn't know what to equate this to. It's that different. It does uh, have kind of a like a stringy type. Yeah, bring string the words. Word. Word. <laughs> yeah, that's not Sorry. what I wanted to hear. It's but, you know what I mean. All right, I'm gonna like, do this you know, one, like one more. Kind of like a scallop has a little. Uh huh. I mean, you can tell it's fish, but it's. It almost tastes like a saltwater fish. Oh, okay. that's a good, that's oh, a good that's thing. Good. That's usually a good thing. Saltwater fish are prized in the like culinary a, industry. It has like a like a tang to it that okay. that saltwater. You see, you know what I'm saying? That must be. Is this uh, the tail piece or what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the tail, tail piece. Okay. Let's cook first. They were thinner. I'm gonna go into it. I'm just going to the fish only. Yeah, that actually get a, looks good. I yeah, I want to get a full taste of the meat right in my mouth. That's a great texture. A little different. Isn't it different? I mean, does yeah. It's different because I just ate fish yesterday. It's not fishy. It doesn't have a fishy flavor. I mean, I'd say it's quite enjoyable, honestly. I don't think the seasoning stuck as much as we were hoping for. And if it had stuck, this yeah. would probably be really good, especially yeah. like with the rice, the butter, some soy sauce that we added on in there. I'm interested for you to have a taste because you have tried many different types of fish, so you might be able to compare it to something. Because I, I personally feel like the texture of the meat is quite different than perhaps other fish. Uh, personally, other fish that I've eaten. No, like, it's very like, a, like I eat a lot of crappie. Harder. Oh, that is a weird kind of texture. Mm. I'm already noticing. That is cooked. It's but, definitely cooked. Okay, but it's just not super flaking, right. like easy fork. Yeah, this little is chunky, more like little a, chunky. Like a scallop. Uh, okay, I've never eaten scallops, so I'm not familiar. No, you're right, it is more like a scallop. More like a scallop. Like, like when not, you're cutting it with a fork. Yeah. That's what kind of texture-wise it feels like. Now let's, let's just get the fish to start off with here. I think you're right with the saltwater fish reference. Mm. Right? Mm. It's, it's just um, different. Tang, there's like a tang a, to it. Like a swordfish or other big oh. meaty fish I've had where you, you Is know, that a positive or a negative? Is that a, I don't even know. Is that a good thing it's, or it's a almost, The texture is almost like a super delicious cut with a fork filet steak. Okay, okay, you yeah. You gotta chew a little bit, mm -hmm. but there's a little bit of melt in your mouth. Sort of like that, no gaminess. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, no fishiness. No. I don't like the fishiness, which is shocking. No swampiness with the water that it came out of being that way. Um, I'm gonna give it like a 7.3. Wow. Okay. So wow. Out of comparison, what would you put a crappie at? A crappie. Like curiosity. Premium for me, black and style like this is a is a blue catfish. Oh wow! Wow. But, blue catfish. Wow. Yeah, but like a. I don't know. A, cro a crappie, a walleye is a ten. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Crappies, crappies like right below. That. Just a nine, probably. Nine, okay. A nine, okay. Um, you know, catfish across the board, yeah. probably an eight. Good okay. clean catfish. catfish. Good clean catfish. Okay. This is in the seven. What would be below this? I'm curious. I'm just curious. What um, would be below this. A bass. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would put a largemouth, mm -hmm. grassy largemouth oh. bass oh. in there. Uh, I would. A striper? Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm was, not a huge fan of striper. Me either. either. I'm You're not either. a huge fan of striper. I'm not eating I was gonna it. Say, I'd put yeah. it like maybe yeah. on the same plane. Okay. The times I've had striper. All right. Um, I like the texture better with the striper though. This is, I like forkable. You just 
This you almost need a knife. Yeah. You okay. Almost need a knife. Well, yeah. You, you so had a super thick. thick piece too. Like the piece yeah, that we had, I don't true. think it was yeah. even that tough. You may have gotten well, you just the see, toughest. See this? Look at this. Is what Mike was explaining. Like, look at all these rows of muscles, like a snake. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> like a snake. Yeah. And that is just a different texture. I'm used to like thicker chunks in there. I'm still eating it though. Yeah. Dude, good. look, me and Mike ate our whole bowl. Oh, finished it. <laughs> right I'm just sitting here like watching other people eat, so I'm just like, oh, well, you know, it's getting better every single bite. Well, gentlemen, how did you feel about the Northern Snakehead experience as a whole? Rackley got to break his and set his new PB. I did not, yeah. but I got to eat it, which I feel like is the next best thing. I got to, uh, help you dispatch one that you <laughs> caught, which was also, you know, that was an experience. Yep. So, and then getting in that water, watching him catch that four pounder Ooh, out of that black Figure water, eating it. Figure eating it, it figure eating that, uh, that one that he caught. It was cool, man. And this whole trip in general has been so diverse with the different types of things that we're doing and eating yeah. and catching. And seeing. So, and yeah. seeing, so. Well guys, awesome. if you wanna go to Gookinsquad.com, please use one of our codes to save an extra 10%. Check out our new baits, the two-step, the wake banger, the rip. Amazing baits for any time of the year, especially if you're fishing shallow, deep, multi-species, whatever. We got new apparel as well, new boat shorts, long yep. pants, etc. Get everything you need, Gookinsquad.com. See you out in the water, catch some fish. Peace.